double click on Art Smash. First thing we do is look for the local server button to go green. And when it does, we will come up here in the groups panel under the local tab. This is the groups panel, this is the profile panel, and this is the preference panel. This is the blue control bar to open and close the panels. So what this local button does, it runs a local ArchMesh server. It's in discover mode. So when it first boots up, it looks for a server, and if it doesn't find one, it starts one. If you're the only computer that you use in your studio, you can just put it to self, and it won't bother to look around the studio for other servers. It will just start a server. First thing you do, though, is this gear is the preference panel. So you want to look that your private IPv4 is, is real. So you go to your network control panel. Here's 10.1.8.32, and they agree. So we are on the right local area network IP address. That's what we want. In the preference panel, um, you have a few tabs. So these are the general preferences. These are the jack preferences. We'll walk through that in a while. This is Jack Trip, which controls the audio streaming. These are our vi video preferences, your OSC groups preferences, and your accounts preferences. And don't worry, we'll go through each of those. But for now, I want to show you a couple panels. One is the profile panel. Profile panel has three tabs, user pa tab, group tab, and the project tab. In the user profile, you need a nickname, lowercase, no spaces. That is the minimal that you need to get going. You have other fields like full name, affiliation, location, and a description of your user. In the group tab, you need a nickname for your group. I call my group Cineum. Here's the full name of the group, a URL to the group, and the location of the group. And here's the description of the group. We'll go over these in another tutorial later. And here's the project we're working on today. Project 1. Sounds good. And this is a URL to your live YouTube channel. If you choose to broadcast to YouTube, you can put other live URLs destinations in there. And this is the description of your project. Project 1, September 28th. Close enough. And the uh, next tab I'd like to show you, or panel, is the Groups panel. The Groups panel has three tabs. It's Local, Live, and Archived. I'll show you what these are. The Local is the immediate live channel. So I am Big Mac here in the group Cine. And here's the group. You can open and close these here and now a couple other things to know is that when I double click on this top bar it rolls up the the user interface like a window tab uh, window shade get it out of the way and you can work with your application you can also move these around 
to reorganize them or you can stack them. You can pop them off as floating panels. You can resize. You can resize here also. This reattaches it to the back and this X closes it. And if you have a white blue icon open, that means that the, uh, the panel is open and you can close it from here too. And uh, another thing we can do, this is the map panel. And I can see what's in my group in my group panel is right here and it will open up to the project information. Here's the description of the project, here's the group information and description, and here's the user. Cine BMAC. By the way, you scroll left and right. And my full name is Cine BMAC. And if you want to scroll around. Also, if I want to immediately go to my profile panel, I will command click here and it will jump to that panel. Let's go back to the map. I will command click and it zooms. So if you have a lot of tabs open, you can get to the panel immediately. Okay, let's close this.